What up, dog? So let's talk about that Minnesota game when they had the greatest comeback in NFL history. But it shouldn't have came down to that, but it did, but Minnesota came back down 33 points in the second half to beat the Indianapolis Colts. Man, that game was crazy as hell. What could go wrong, did go wrong. Minnesota offense, defense, special team, coaches, everybody played horrible in that first half. And I thought the game was over with. I ain't going to hold you up. J.J. got hurt. Then Jaden Rager came in, running fucked up routes and shit, and Kirk Cousins throw a pick six, trying to get him the ball. But Kirk Cousins this year played way different than he ever played in Minnesota. So this is best year in Minnesota. And I've been saying this to day one, if you've been watching my videos. Minnesota needs to get K.J. Osborne more involved in offense. He should be the number two wide receiver for our team. No disrespect to Adam Thielen, but he need to be number three. KJ can ball if he get the opportunity like he did last week. He had like 10 catches, I think, for like 157 yards. He went off. He was trying to win that game. Even when we were down, he was going crazy. And KOC, once again, came out flat with the coaching staff against a fucking high school coach. Man, Minnesota need to get this shit together before they hit the playoffs. For real. If they want to keep that number two seed and, and, and face somebody like, I ain't going to lie, Detroit Lions is hot as hell right now, or the Washington Commanders, but... I don't know. If you Minnesota, do you do you even want to keep that number two seed and play a team? Nine times out of ten, they're gonna have to play Detroit in Minnesota again. Because I think Detroit gonna get that number seven seed. I don't think Seattle gonna get it. But Minnesota, like I said, like I've been saying, Minnesota offense always starts slow. KOC got to get the offense going in the first quarter and keep it going through the whole game. If they can play like that when they be down, Minnesota, they go crazy. KOC need to do some shit like soon Minnesota get the ball. Like, look, man, we down 14 points already, so we on go mode. Or we down 21 points. Because Minnesota come out flat every week in the first half, for real. They offense don't get to click until they be down some crazy shit. And you cannot keep on coming back for people. Even though they do, Minnesota 10-0 when the score, when it's a one possession game, they 10-0. That's good, but damn. Every week. Minnesota will land Jeff Saturday and old ass Matt Ryan dog walk their ass. I couldn't believe that shit. But I'm mostly shocked that Minnesota defense ain't give up no points in the second half but a fucking field goal. He need to coach like that on defense through the whole fucking football game. Because if he would have did some shit like that against Detroit, we'd have won that game. Minnesota need to fix that defense, dog. For real. They need to start sending more people on blitz. Whatever the fuck they got to do to, to give more pressure on the quarterback. But they need to do it. And if Minnesota would get the number three seed, Minnesota will, will probably play the Commanders or the Giants if the Giants can hold on to the number six seed. And they still will get a home game. And you will send Detroit to San Fran. Let them duke it out. Fuck that. Well, I would do shit.
Send Detroit hot ass to San Fran. See what they can do against that motherfucking offense and that defense. And get their ass. Shit, whoever wins, shit, that'd be, that'd be big on us. If Detroit would knock San Fran out the playoff, then we beat the Giants in a wild card. Then we get another home playoff game because we division winners. So I don't even know it. I don't even know if it worth having number two seed. Honestly, though, the way Minnesota be playing the shit. But the last three weeks, Minnesota need to work on that defense before the playoffs start. Cause they already in the playoffs. These next three weeks should be coming up with new defense schemes and shit like that. So right now the NFC is up in the air. San Fran got a backup quarterback. And the Cowboys. I ain't too worried about the Cowboys, but the Cowboys gonna do Cowboy shit. They're gonna find a way to lose. So they might lose to Tampa Bay. It look like they look like that where they're gonna go to Tampa. But the next three weeks, Minnesota need to work on that defense and get and get other people involved on defense and offense. I ain't gonna lie to you. The next last, the last couple of weeks, I said Christian Derrissaw, get Gary um, Bradbury healthy, and I won't even play um, Sedaria Smith that much, or the or Hunter. I want all new fresh for the playoffs to make the dog ass Super Bowl run. Because you already in the playoff. Fuck it. Who you? If you don't, if you can't get the number one seed, like. Fuck the number two seed. Send Detroit or somebody to San Fran if they want that shit. But shit, the Eagles, it look like Jalen Hurts got a, a, a bruised shoulder. That's what they saying right now. But but we seen Jalen Hurts gonna play last year in the playoffs, and they looked at like dog shit. So I'm not, I don't, I ain't, I don't know too much about them in the playoffs though, but. If Minnesota can fix that defense and keep the offense humming like they did in the second half last week, Minnesota would be a scary ass team in the playoffs. I ain't gonna hold you up. No cap. Minnesota is a scary, unpredictable ass team right now. But that was just my thoughts on Minnesota greatest comeback in NFL history and a playoff picture. Let me know who Minnesota should play in the playoffs and leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel and tell a friend about the channel.